Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Appalachian Home Co. We're in my wood shop again today. We're going to be working with the X-Tool D1 Pro laser cutter. I'm going to be doing a really fun project with that. If you're a beginner laser user then you're going to love this project. I'm going to show you how I set everything up with the D1 Pro from start to finish so that your first project, if this is your first project, it goes super smoothly and I'll show you all the materials that I'm using and all the settings that I'm using for my laser machine to cut this project. We're going to be using 1 8 inch birch plywood. I'm actually going to be using some scraps that I have left over from another project. This is going to be fit perfectly for this small little project. We're going to be making these little bird magnets. I found this file on Etsy. I'll link it below so you can find the exact file if that's the one you want to go with. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how I set up my laser machine. First of all, I have a metal sign underneath my laser cutter. Now this protects my MDF table from the laser cutter. You can use pretty much any surface to set this on to use, um, but you do need some kind of protective covering underneath your machine so it doesn't cut through your table. So the second thing I'm going to be using for this is this grill. Now this is specifically made for this size laser cutter and I got this from Amazon. It was around 99 bucks. Your project's going to turn out a lot cleaner and smoother with one of these mine have. You can move your laser head around if you need to. It's not going to mess up your machine. You can also move this bar with your hand um, if you need to do that to get your grill or materials placed in the right location. If you're going to be working with long pieces of material, you're going to want to install these feet on your machine. You can lift up your laser and just screw these on to the bottom of your machine. It's going to allow the material to go under these bars under your machine. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my project that we're going to be making and I'll show you right now how I set everything up there. The software I'm going to be using is Xtool Creative Space and it's a free program that comes with the Xtool D1 Pro and you can also use Lightburn if you're familiar with that program. Next I'm just going to drag and drop in my SVG file that I did purchase from Etsy and you want to make sure that everything is sized properly and mine is. You can go to settings to change your units from millimeters to inches and view the project settings. Next, you want to select what operation you want to do. You can score, engrave, or cut when you are working with SVG files. If you're uploading a PNG, you have the option to engrave. So I'm selecting the entire project, and then I'm going to select the cut option over here on the right since I'm cutting out the project using the 1 8 inch birch plywood. Now you can change your cut settings. You can select your material from the drop down menu and Xtool already has presets for those specific materials. However, I do find it is better to test your own material and adjust your settings from there. So I'm gonna actually select user defined material from the drop down and then adjust the power to 100% and the speed I'm gonna be using is a four which is a little bit slower and I'm going to leave it at a one time pass. These settings work best for me, but again, definitely test your own material to make sure. Now I'm going to make some changes to how my project is laid out to save on material since I'm using small scraps to cut these pieces. But if you're working with a larger piece of material, you can skip this step, but it's always a good idea to try and save your material. So now I have my pieces laid out to fit my plywood pieces that I'm going to be using. Instead of trying to place both of those wood pieces on my laser and trying to figure out exactly where to lay them, I'm going to just work in sections piece by piece. Again, you can skip this step, but this is a neat trick if you have lots of small pieces of wood you are trying to use up with your project. So I'm going to cut this first area out of my larger wood piece, these little houses, and then I'm going to cut this line of birds later. So I'm going to select all of the birds and just delete those for now. Now you can go back and undo this action after you make your first cut. You can bring those back onto your canvas so they are not gone forever. 
but I want those gone for now just to cut out the first piece. You can also work on different canvases, much like you can work in different sheets on spreadsheet, but I will get into that in a later video. So for now, I'm going to position my material and laser. Okay, so here's my laser machine. I have everything set up. You wanna make sure your machine is plugged up to an outlet. So I have mine plugged in over here to this outlet. You also wanna make sure that this USB cord is connected to your laptop or computer. I just have mine plugged into a USB outlet on my laptop. I have my machine connected through USB because I don't have Wi-Fi yet installed in my workshop. But when you go up here to the right where it says connect your device, you want to select that. And then you can choose which way you connect your device. You connect Wi-Fi or USB, whichever you prefer. So since I do not have Wi-Fi yet, I'm going to use the USB cord. You also want to go into the settings menu, scroll down and check for updates. It's very important that you update your machine as the laser will not work if it does not have the latest update. Mine has the latest update, but if yours it does not, you can go to support.xtool.com and it gives you specific details on how to do this. The most important thing when updating your laser is to turn the update switch on. I don't know if all people know about this, but there's a switch at the front of your laser that needs to be in the on position only when you are downloading your updates. After your update is complete, you need to turn this back to the off position, otherwise your laser is going to act crazy, but only during updates do you want this upload switch to the on position. From there, you can go ahead and download the latest update. It will only take a few minutes to install this update, and once you're done, you can click confirm and you're ready to go. And again, you can switch off that update switch and now your laser should be ready to work. I also have the Air Assist set up with this machine. I'll link a video up here in the cards that lets you know exactly how I set this up, but you wanna make sure to have all of your hoses out of the way and your Air Assist turned Okay, so on. now I'm ready to place my material. I'm gonna start, I'm first gonna start with this piece. This is a five by seven piece that I'm gonna be using for the houses. I'm just gonna play it, place it about the center of my grill. Uh, the next thing you want to make sure and do is just move your laser down over your material. So first I'm going to drop this little lever on the side of my machine to adjust the height of my laser for this specific material. You can see it just pulls out here and you're going to drop that down. Then you're going to actually loosen your laser by pulling up on this tab and just let it drop all the way down to your material. You want to make sure this little lever is down before you do that. Now I'm just going to tighten that um, laser back up to save the position and then you can just make sure and raise that lever back up and you're ready to go ahead and cut out this material. You also want to make sure your material is laying flat. You don't want any corners sticking up. If you're going to be using pins to hold this down, you want to make sure they're out of the way of the path of this laser, but this is super flat so I'm not going to be using any pins. I'm going to go ahead and move my laser up to the corner of my material to get the maximum amount of space out of my material. You want to make sure your laser is connected here at the top of your screen and I'm also making sure that this says laser flat since we're going to be cutting on a flat surface. So now all we have to do is hit process and we're ready to start our framing. And I have my little laser dot set up here in the corner. This is my starting point. This is where I want to start. You can move uh, your laser dot wherever you want to to get a good starting point. So I want to start here because I want to align this as close as I can to the top corner of my machine. You can also move the laser over with these little buttons. You can move it to the right or the left, but I already have mine positioned, so I'm going to go ahead and start framing. So you want to click framing. You want to do this to make sure that your material is in the right position. Once framing is done, you can hit framing completed, but let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to frame. Okay, so now I'm ready to frame my material. Um, after your computer tells you the framing function is ready, you want to go ahead and hit this gold button and you can see the blue light is blinking blue. That means it's ready to frame. 
When it is framing, you wanna make sure that your laser lines are within your material the entire time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the gold button and you can see exactly where the outline of your project is going to be. So I like how this is set up. Um, all my project is gonna be within this box. Now we're ready to go ahead and start cutting. Now you wanna go ahead and press framing completed and press your start key when you're ready to start. After you hit the start button, you will have one more step and that is to hit the gold button again on your X tool and that will start your project. You'll also see an estimated time it's gonna give you to finish your project and it'll give you how many minutes you've used so far as your project is cutting out. Okay, so this first part is already processed. I'm just gonna go hit Control Z to undo, to bring back this second um, part of the project that I actually erased. And now I can select this one we've already cut and erase it. Um, I'm just gonna move this second piece up to the center of my board. I have my material placed down and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start framing this out. So now your project should be complete. If you're a beginner, I hope you are able to follow this tutorial to create your first project successfully. I'm gonna be doing a video on my top 10 tips for using the Xtool D1 Pro, some troubleshooting things um, if you do have any problems on creating projects. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. You can always leave me a comment if you have any problems or questions about this project or the Xtool D1 Pro. Okay guys, so our project is finished. I hope you enjoyed this project and this video. If you like this kind of content and wanna see more of this, subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up so I'll know you like this kind of content. I have lots more Xtool projects lined up for this summer. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you back again in my next video.